what if here, and I'm back with another video and tape video. I'm reviewing the LEGO DC um, 2019 um, Batman, Bat Sub, and Underwater Clash set, which has 174 pieces, retail for $20, and recommended for $87 up. I got this at Barnes & Noble, actually, out of all places, for $20 there. So yeah, this set is really nice. I've been looking for it for a while. So yeah, we'll take a look at the figures, and then we'll get into the build. So the first figure we'll take a look at is Batman, of course, and he's just standard one. This guy came out. I got mine like in 2018, too, before this line, and he's doing this set in this outfit, which is strange. But um, yeah, he comes out in like another set um called the Lex Luthor Mechan, where I got my other one, same exact suit, except like he does have this breathing apparatus, which will take off. Don't really need that on there. He comes with the older 2012 face. And then we can just put the new cow on him. And he had a different face print in the set I got him in originally. Come on, focus. That's a nice, really nice torso printing anyways. Like gold reflecting. So yeah, and then you could just have these flippers to have him. If we move my stand out of the way. I don't want, yeah, we can move, we can have him stand up with the flippers. Just waddle, 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 waddle. Black is very, pretty uncommon for me to get because I don't get a lot of speed with it anyway. So, yeah, we're gonna put this back on. And then we'll take a look at the next figure. So, let's take a look at this next figure, which is Aquaman. I don't know if that face print was new at the time. I think it was. His hair piece is the Justice League movie one. Just in blonde. I think they try to do a clash between the Justice League um, Aquaman along with the comic book one. So that's probably why he had the beard. Have the comic book smile and the outfit. Very nice. Some nice printing and gold. Like all that nice gold reflective and the same can be said for the back. We got an alternate face. Just do that. Pop it back on. It's just got some nice thing, and you got a gold tried it, and they also give you a stand, um, Aquaman can, um, stand on, yeah, other than that, there's nothing else that much said about Aquaman, they don't, all these characters don't have, like, printing in the set, which is kind of disappointing for a $20 set, but it is nice to get three figures in a $20 set, so it's a your next figure, so yeah, the next figure, um, we do get is, um, Ocean Master, and I forgot to say that Batman has an alternate face. As I said with, um, Aquaman, he does have one already. But yeah, we get Ocean Master, which is the first time getting him. A lot of people think this is a new, um, helmet piece on him. It really isn't. As we already got this helmet piece in gold. For, from the Atlantean Guard. So, yeah. Some people think it might be a new helmet piece. It is not. It is the exact same mold. If I would take this off, there's some head print underneath. Looks the same. Just in gold and silver now. It's nice to get some variation. So, as I was saying, some nice, nice printing, like helmet wise and stuff. And, yeah, some nice torso printing. This is a lot of nice reflective. His cape is not new. It looks right on my camera. It's actually like a magenta, like the one that they use on Mysteria. Some nice back printing. You got um, a trident in gunmetal gray. You also got the same first style piece for him. Which I'm not going to show because you already seen it with Aquaman. Plain black leg. But if we take off his helmet, you can see he got an alternate face. That is pretty beefed. But yeah, that is um. The Aquaman and every figure of the set. Now I'll take a look at the main build with the bat sub. Okay, okay guys, so we got the nice big nice big bat sub. You can see my updated Batmobile in the background a little bit. Um so this is a really, really nice big build. I honestly was just getting it the set. Cause I really wanted to figure but then I'm looking at it after I build it. I really enjoy this bat sub, but like it's not a bad build except it does it a lot which I think it like just goes pushing in the water or something I don't know but it's an interesting feature like if I move this back and you can see the guys that I use because they have built it 
You could just. There we go. We got it moved out now. I mean, you can kind of see it. It just swooshes. So, like, if we move this apart, you got a little loose connector pin, and then you just just you set it in and. It, See it. Without further ado, looking at that for a little bit, you know that scooches around. So if we take a look at the front, got a nice little cockpit area. It's a little nice, and you can just move the front thing down, up, get your figure in. We'll take them out, cause like, we want to look inside, and I don't know if this piece is new right here on this side, but I do know that this piece on this side right here is not exclusive. That's I don't know if the other one is. And then we got a sticker on this side, and you got the same exact sticker on this side. Okay, we're just gonna take that off because I can't deal with it swooshing around while we're doing this. So this, this is a nice sticker on this side. And then you got a sticker on the top, which is a pretty nice sticker. And you got these that can show on the box to show you holding um, Ocean Masters. Um, what's it called? Um, tried it. I'm not gonna do that. You got a weird build down here, it's probably because you can have it so that you can hold it and then go swooshing. Move my camera up so you, can, so you can swoosh it around. I mean, it does have nice things. But I got big hands, but so maybe that's why. So we got moved to this side. This piece is not really that new. So my stud shooters will shoot those off. And you should just. Hey, got a lot of next night shields. You got some stickers on here, which I did do these stickers pretty well. And then you got the same stickers on this side, which I tried to line pretty well, and you can tell I did bang it up a little bit. Now, if we um, move to the back, this is not really a big enough build. And I like how there's like not just, it's not black and yellow and gray. I like how there's some red seats too, because I like black and red. It goes really good together, and it's my favorite color. Colors. I guess these like like nice fans. I don't know if they're exclusive. They're probably not. They've probably been in other sets. But you could just spin. And you got the power burst coming out of it to make it look like it's going through the water. And this is a nice little area to put your fins at for Batman. It is a really nice build. I enjoy it. Not a lot of be said here. I'm trying not to make these reviews really long because I reviewed the figure a lot and then making them just super long. You know, I try not to. I try to give enough detail. And you got a nice little one by two seat in Batman. So we just set him in. Kind of got they actually didn't give him a cape. So you just moved this out of the way. And you got some nice lights on the front. Down along here and here. Same thing on the other side. So yeah, it's a nice little build. We'll take a look at the packaging and the instructions. So the box is your typical $20 um, Lego box size. Nice little stuff on top, and then let's see. Also, I did get it for $20. We move to the back, you have some play features. A little battle going out. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention there is a shark in the set. And then you got some play features. See how I was told you to try it. And all that happy whatnot. Stuff. So, yeah, now we we'll the instructions, which is your typical instructions. Nothing too special. Your win advertisement. You have your piece count. Huh. You don't have any advertisement, which is strange. You just have that for like like a life. But yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below your stuff and what you're gonna do next. And I shall see you guys in the next video.